<laughs> smells like cauliflower and burnt motor oil. That's what I had for breakfast. <laughs> A capital GTX, baby. <laughs> non synthetic. You get that 5W20, put that on some broccoli, it'll turn into cauliflower. <laughs> you must be a Ford <laughs> running off a of 520. Hey guys, this is Rob, and welcome back to Theoretical Insights of D&D. You know, life has a funny way of changing things around pretty quickly, or even doing a build-up over the, a couple of months or so. And it's truly affected us, because that's, that's happened within our own lives. Um, believe it or not, we are two individual people with separate lives from podcasts and anything related to Dungeons & Dragons. And... Um, some things have come up in my life and things have come up in Jeremiah's life in which have gotten in the way of being able to do stuff and we're having to give up some things that we truly enjoy to do. And those are the uh, hard decisions that we know will be best for the coming future for us and our families. Um, with that being said, the Dreadful Six, as was stated in a Facebook post on the Dreadful Six's Facebook page, will no longer be produced um, to be completely honest I don't have the time nor the willpower to continue writing and editing um, this show because I found myself neglecting my family to be able to produce it and I'm just not going to do that anymore um, that does not mean that it's going away forever uh, I have made the decision that I will sit down and start working on a book that I can write at my own pace with no uh, deadline stress added to it to where I can still tell my story to whoever would be willing to listen to it or read about it. And there are some pretty big changes coming to Theoretical Insights of D&D. Oh, is it my turn to talk now? Yeah, go ahead. Well, just to you know, be real with y'all for a moment... Uh, it's been a transformative month, two months for me, um, just kind of on a, on a spiritual level. Uh, as some of y'all probably like, you know, inferred from listening from our episodes, you know, you, uh, we're two Christians on this podcast. Uh, and my relationship with the Lord right now is heading in a very... It's growing, and God revealed to me that Dungeons and Dragons was getting in the way of that. It was getting in the way of my faith, of my walk with God. Uh, it was getting in the way with my relationship with Jesus, and you know it was. It was either you know, follow God or continue kind, of basically devote to this game. Uh, you know, I did a lot of praying and seeking and, you know, pondering and meditating on this. And, you know, I've, I've decided that I would rather choose God than a game. Uh, so it's been a, it's been an interesting kind of time for me to kind of, almost re-identify myself in a way. And I talked to Rob about this. Uh, you know, I, I introduced him to the game. Uh, and, you know, we, me and Rob, we're best friends despite what we say to each other. <laughs> yeah, sometimes he wants to claw my eyes out with a rusted spork, but, you know, it is what it is. I don't think they make metal sporks, do they? They could. They could, yeah. We could. We could, <laughs> Merch Lincoln bio. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, I'm taking a step back from Dungeons and Dragons to basically realign myself with God's will for my life. And, you know, I know that there's going to be people who listen to this who uh, are not believers, uh, and that's okay. Uh, you can say that, you know, I'm a dogmatic quack. You know, or that I'm, you know, ill-informed. 
It's fine. Call me, call me whatever you want. It doesn't matter. You know, I'd rather have God than uh, the title of dungeon master or, you know, a 20th level character. Uh, but I'm taking a break. I'm stepping away from the podcast. I'm not going to be participating in uh, the game. Uh, but yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at right now. We just wanted to give you that update so you can be more well informed on it. So that means that I will be taking over uh, theoretical insights of D&D on recording, uploading, and making sure everything gets out. And um, yeah, um, Jeremiah's, like he said, is going to be taking a step back. And uh, that doesn't necessarily mean gone forever, but for now, for sure. Um, I'm sure that, you know, six, seven months down the road, whenever he feels comfortable, like, hey, man. You got anything you want to talk about? Sure. Let's record it. And whatever. Uh, In the meantime, I will be reaching out to a lot of people uh, to have guests because uh, I know Eric's going to be joining me. Roger has said he would like to join uh, TID&D for a couple of episodes. I've been in contact with Potato Candy, and life's kind of hit them crazy right now. Uh, with everything as far as scheduling going crazy, so they're going they're going through it too. But um, our heart goes out to them as well because I know we know life ain't easy. Um, but yeah, it's no problem on our side as far as you know. There's absolutely no issue in between me and Jeremiah, and there's technically from our perspectives no issues to the game it's just a matter of what are we going to put first you know and uh like i said you never know seven or eight months down the road we might be able to sit down and have another conversation that has something to do with D or something that doesn't have anything to do with D. you never know one of these days it might turn a episode of theoretical insights of D&D might turn into theoretical insights of board game night at Mike at Rob's house. Maybe, yeah. So, I mean, I've got I've got $1300 worth of board games thanks to Paul Paul Biden that he gave a, he gave that stimulus check in 2020. I went Barnes and Noble <laughs> said I'm buying some board games. <laughs> Why? I don't know cuz I have no friends other than Jeremiah. <laughs> But no, there's there's always the possibility of um, you never know because when when it comes down to both of our Christian faiths, this is that exact thing is something that I struggled with whenever I first started playing Dungeons and Dragons and really getting into it. And um, the thing is, is what people people often overlook or don't want to hear is that when it comes into the individual walk with Christ, Rob and Jeremiah are two entirely different people with two different sets of principles, kind of, sort of, who are going and can get two different sets of answers. So... To, to a degree. Yeah, to a degree. There, there are some hard truths yeah. that you can't just say, well, it's all right for me. But there are definite things that you can have in your life that God doesn't want you to do, yep. but is not necessarily wrong for someone else to do. Yep. Now, I'm not saying like you know, you know, one Christian can lie f- like freely yeah, and it's exactly. fine and it's not a sin, and another one can't. It's not that, but it's there's certain smaller things that yeah. some people feel a conviction or God has specifically told them like, do not do this. And at the end of the day, that's what sin is, is going against what God has told you or has declared. So, you know, I encourage, you know, if there are believers listening to this, I encourage you to seek out where your relationship with God is. You know, it's this game can be very enticing to consume a lot of time. Um, Unless you just don't get to play anymore because, well, you were my DM. So, well, (laughs) I don't have that problem right now. (laughs) Well, yeah, but, you know, when you think about how much time you can 
easily spend on a D and D game. You know, it can start affecting your life, your faith, and even your other relationships. Oh yeah, I, I learned that with the Drevel Six. Yeah. And that was, I had been struggling with that for a couple of months. Not even so much being told to give it up, but just that I that, that I knew that I was neglecting people within my life. Yeah. Because when I know we're doing a podcast about Dungeons and Dragons and we talked about Dungeons and Dragons on here but outside of that when we're sitting on the couch or messaging over my phone then we're talking about everything but but when I started writing the Drevel 6 that's all I had to talk about yeah that's all I could talk about because it was constantly in the forefront of my mind yeah and you know it's it's crazy and I'm about to get on the on a level of Christian stuff that Unbelievers are gonna mock me for a little bit if I if I, if I may. I'll send. I'll I'll hand you the holy soapbox. <laughs> it's the enemy can attack you in so many ways that you're not aware of. Exactly, and he will often he will often use things in which you would not expect, or things that you enjoy the most, which, if done correctly, wouldn't have any kind of barrier or burden on your walk with Christ. Yeah. I'll, I'll be honest with you. He will use things that you don't intend for evil, for evil. The enemy will. Yep. Just like God can use bad things for good. You know, it's... Don't get consumed with the game. Yeah. Is my... I guess warning for Christians playing the game. Don't well, let it take let's, over your Let's let's be honest here. Don't let's let that be a warning for everybody that plays the game that listens yeah. to this. At the at the end of each day and at the end of every week, month and year, this is just a game that could be pushed to the side and whenever you're comfortable or like, you know what? I want to just go on to D and D Beyond and make a character real quick because I kind of miss that feeling and just make a character. It can be done. However, like I learned this past week, there are much more important things in life where you need to devote your time, and one of those being family. Um. didn't really didn't really notice how much I'd been neglecting family to write TD6 and how absorbed I'd become in D&D until I realized that after my grandmother passed past fr- this past Friday that uh on May 26th that I had not seen her since Mother's Day of 2022 now there's there's a lot of you know excuses of obviously the saying of we're two broke white boys is very true oftentimes I didn't even have the gas to get up to the to the place to with that and she didn't have a phone so I wasn't able to talk to her but the last thing I expected and yeah when you hit 83 years old you you kind of expect it but you don't uh, that I, I worked so hard on everything D and D, and didn't make the time to go at least say hey. So that's that's where I found myself. Um, don't don't let any kind of game. It doesn't matter if it's D and D, Pathfinder, some kind of board game, not um, video games of any kind, overshadow water what is most important in your life whether that be your walk with Christ or the family that is surrounding you or friends in which may need you or even a job that requires you to do a good bit of work and like like we've been saying there's absolutely nothing wrong with the game is what you do with it and how much you allow yourself to be wrapped up in it 
and that goes with any kind of game that requires time. But, as I said, I will be keeping TID&D going for however long I can. Uh, try to have recurring guests on. Try to have a little bit more, you know, interactions on social media if anybody will take the bait and bite. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. So, and like I said, uh, what, probably two or three times so far, this is, this doesn't mean that you're never going to hear Jeremiah again, because... I'm sure down the road that we can find a topic that we can talk about comfortably without having any kind of issues on either side, whether that be board games, video games, or after a, you know the correct amount of time and things are set to the right direction, a little bit of D&D, or even Pathfinder, anything. But uh, I'm actually going to see if I can't come up with an with an intro that will include some of our best moments from season one. <laughs> so you'll be sitting here and be like, welcome to Theoretical Insights of D&D. Lord! I need a fireball! That'd be funny. But they have a brain aneurysm. <laughs> a Skyrim crouch. <laughs> oh, but that's that's where we're at and the future is still unknown but we'll figure it out and in the meantime keep rolling high and we'll see you in the next one well i won't see it but well, yeah <laughs> me and somebody else <laughs>